I think also maybe it's very important uh, of the parents to speak about the children or to the children about issues that my ch the children might face in the society. What happens sometimes with Muslim community, we in denial. That sometimes even you mention something khutbah the Jum'ah, someone walked to you and said, brother, we shouldn't mention that. Uh, my brother, I'm mentioning it because I'm warning the community. I'm telling them it's important to be aware of these issues because they're telling you that you need to tune out you should not mention anything that of embarrassing and those kind. I think children need to be talked to about serious issues, especially when they become in middle school. Middle school, I'm, I'm, I didn't grow up here, but I, I know, I counsel people. Middle school, you're throwing the children in the water. If you don't know to tell them how to swim, they're going to drown. And they say in Arabic, Alqahu fil yami maktufun sawa'idhu wa qalilahu iyaka iyaka an tabtalla bil ma'i. He, he handcuff his, uh, a person and he throw him in the water and say, stay dry. <laughs> You're not going to stay dry. You have to tell them how to swim. That's very important. And what happens sometimes with migrant parents, let me just mention this about the migrant parents, that sometimes I'm an immigrant parents, sometimes we, we think that by just not saying anything, not saying, telling them anything, they will be all right. Check it out. <laughs> Trust me. I'm going to tell you, my brothers and sisters, if parents do not talk to their children, they don't know the environment of their children. They don't, have not been in public school. They don't see how it looks in, uh, in, in high school. They don't know what is an internet. Then they live in an illusion that they just, by not talking to them and have them to close their room and be in the internet, the children will be OK. No. And therefore, the, one of the things that the person must know is called ma'rifat al-waqa', knowing the reality. And that's why they say faqih, a person cannot be a faqih unless he knows three things. The fiqh of the text, and the fiqh of the environment, and the fiqh of application of the text in the environment. Fiqh al-nusus, fiqh al-tanzil, fiqh al-waqa', application. If a person doesn't know that, he will not be able to navigate their way in life. As for the sin, this, by the way, it happened even briefly. You know, ulama says, like Ibn Jawz and others says, people with sins are three levels. Some people do the sin, and they're so shame of it. The shaitan comes and says, you know, what is this hypocrisy? Tell people you're doing it. Therefore, the child comes to you and says, Dad, guess what? I'm doing this, and I would like to be my own. You know, things. the third thing, which is called support group, by the way, the support group and sins. The third level is inviting others to it. And you see, they have seen this evolution taking place in America, and you have seen it take place now in some Muslim countries, that things that were, people were shame of, now in the public, and there's a clear invitation to it, uh, because it's cool. Therefore, you need to be aware of those three, uh, three levels.